Hey everyone, welcome to my very first Pokemon Y Wi-Fi battle and in this game I'm battling against this random passerby uh, which is from Japan and all uh, you can see the, the name anyway so um, the good thing about the, the sixth generation is that you can no longer hack Pokemon which is great which means that the Japanese have to play fair and square they have to um, get all of their items, TMs, everything that works they have to get it in game and not hack them like they used to, like everyone used to anyway. So onto the battle, this guy goes for an early mega evolution and he goes for mega blasters and I'm like crap, if he goes for a hydro pump tarantum is destroyed, but he goes for the water pulse instead and I'm like, what is this guy thinking anyway? So I get confusion hacks, but tarantum, there we go. Will, will, will he get confused? No ladies and gentlemen, this T-Rex is a monster, he will set up the stealth rocks as he is precisely designed to, you know, he is designed to take uh, physical hits and set up stealth rocks and if he can survive another round, he can actually drag and tail things left, right and center. Anyway, so Absol comes out and um, I knew that this thing had to go because, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just playing with the camera here. I go for the sucker punch to see how much damage that does into Mega Blastoise and that did like almost nothing and then like with a defense boost pff, that's not going to do anything so uh, he goes for the skull bash and I go for the thunder wave because apparently he's faster than me for some reason but this is a sassy Absol I haven't trained not one of my Pokemon properly not one of them is actually EV trained because I'm still a rookie but I could not miss Wi-Fi action which is very intense nowadays anyway so he goes for the water pulse who will kill my Absol even though it's a sassy nature. Weird. Anyway. Anyway, so out comes Gengar, goes for the Thunderbolt, and I was hoping to take it out from that range, and luckily I got a critical hit, and I really think it does matter, because um, I think Mega Blastoise has got a great deal of special defense, because it's still specially defensive anyway. Anyway, so he sends out this thing, and I predict the move that will be ineffective to Gengar, so if I switch into my Rizardon, which is Japanese for Charizard, it will resist it four times nonetheless. Anyway, it goes for the Pin Missile, which is not only weak, but also quad resistant by Charizard. And um, I know that he's going to have to switch out this turn, so um, just in case he decided to stay in, I don't know, maybe this thing packs Stone Edge, I'm not very familiar. Anyway, he sends out his own, his Greninja, and... Um, I go for the flamethrower, he gets stuff box damage, and it does a bit of damage, a decent amount of damage, because it is a, um, a, it's a max special attacking Charizard anyway, no, it's a timid, timid Charizard anyway, so it goes for the water shuriken onto my Greninja, which will do absolutely nothing, because I resist it, and it's a very weak move, I'd not have it on my own, anyway, I have the only trained Pokemon, I'm sorry I made a mistake, now I remember, but the only trained Pokemon I have on this team is Gengar and Charizard. And they were both trained by uh, Aura 5777, courtesy of one of the greatest trainers I've ever come across. Anyway, so nothing important here, all you see is just two Grand Ninjas surfing themselves off. And mine, of course, was in the range to kill off the opposing Grand Ninja because I already did some damage with fire flamethrower anyway. So, Stealth Rock, ladies and gentlemen, proves useful once again, and it kills, it it, uh, it, it leaves Scython of beautiful killing range for my Blaziken, my event Blaziken, to come in, and he goes for the Excisor, I had predicted that, and that's why I believe that it was a very good switch in. And he goes for the Air Slash, which is, I don't know, not so good, I mean, why not go for a Wing Attack or something like that, because Air Slash is a special move? Anyway, uh, speed boost goes off, and I'm like, yeah, let's take that thing down, because I really... I wanted to go for the bulk up, but he got the flinch hacks. So, uh, not anyway, I still got the speed boost, which was good enough to take out that uh, Scyther. Anyway, um, in this match, I did not go for the Mega Evolution, because I was kind of reluctant. I wanted to see... I wanted to, you know, to, um, to choose the proper moment, but apparently Mega Blaze can... Uh, I'm sorry, Blaziken, actual Blaziken was good enough for me anyway, so Lucario comes out and um, uh, unless that thing packs its 
dream speed, I don't know, anyway, I think that the movesets are a lot different in 6th gen, it, it looks like things are more fair in 6th gen than any other generation ever, anyway, so, I go for the sky uppercut to see how much it does, anyway, and that Pidgeot goes for the fly, and I predict the, no, uh, uh, yeah, right, what comes after fly, anyway, so I want to save that playskin, and I want to death to my very low in health Greninja, and uh, out comes the fly attack, takes my Greninja out with a critical hit, which is like an insult injury anyway, I don't care, because I still have my Gengar. And um, out comes Gengar, and I go for the Thunderbolt, and I end this match, which is kind of good. This is my first win with not fully with not fully trained Pokemon, with Pokemon that have various natures. Oh, I haven't won yet, sorry. Uh, I go for the Sludge Bomb, and then I think I won this round. Yes, I did, because one hit KO. And um, this is the match, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you I will have a more productive and more creative strategy for you in the next video. So I will be seeing you guys next battle. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, everyone.